What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Coming at you guys today with another Call of the Wild guide. Today we're talking all about the Grand Slam multi-mount. And what the Grand Slam multi-mount is, is it is a mount that features one of each Ibex from Quattro Kalinas. And the idea here is to basically do the mount in all diamonds. So a diamond of each species. I'm gonna go over all the locations in Quattro Kalinas where I like to hunt the different species of Ibex and basically how I grinded for this multi-mount and how you guys can do it too. And it's not that hard. I'm gonna show you guys how to do it. So without further ado, let's get into it. So here we go, guys. We are in Quattro Kalinas. And basically the way I'm going to do this, we're going to start in the top left of the map. We're going to start with Besit Ibex. And then we're going to move over to Ronda Ibex and then down to Southeastern Spanish Ibex and then over to Grados Ibex to conclude the video. We're going to work our way around clockwise. And uh, let's talk a little bit about loadout. Really, all you need to know is that uh, basically your options for the for the Ibex species are the M1. I would, I would say go with the M1. If not the M1, go for the 30-06 Eckers or the 303 British. If you have it, you can use the seven millimeter on the Ibex as well. And we're gonna set the time for uh, just after eight. They start drinking at eight. They drink until around 11.30. I'm gonna set it for 8.15. And we're gonna start with probably the best hotspot for the Basit Ibex, which is this lake right here. Um, and you know what? I'll just throw up my map right now. I do have a hotspot map for you guys that shows all of the best spots for all of the Ibex species all on one map and it shows the drink times and it's color coded. I'll throw that up right now. And you guys can also download that map from my Discord as well as other hotspot maps. I'm going to be adding more hotspot maps into the Discord and I'm excited to do that as we bring more guides for you guys as well. Obviously hit the subscribe button if you haven't already subscribed to the channel. I got a lot more guides coming for you. Lots of awesome content, lots of streams every single day, all kinds of stuff for you guys. Definitely subscribe if you haven't already done that. Drop a like on the video if it helps you. And uh, let's jump into this. Let's go up to this lake and see what we got for Besit Ibex. This is a huge hotspot for Besit Ibex. I like to approach the lake from the outpost here. You can also make your way up to the top of this mountain. Uh, put a tent up there if you want, and you can take some long shots down. There's going to be tons of Besit Ibex at this lake. There always is. So yeah, I would say that this lake is the best hotspot for Besit Ibex um, other than this lake. So we're right here. This lake is fantastic. This lake is really good. There's a little part of the river here that's also really good. And this lake here, you're actually going to find Besit and Ronda Ibex, and it is an awesome spot for Ibex. But I would say those are my top four spots for Besit Ibex. So what I like to do is just approach this lake, like I said, from the outposts. And just kind of hunker down at the lake right about here. We're going to have Besit Ibex coming in both from behind us and in front. Most of the Ibex will be over in this direction. Uh, we've actually got Iberian Wolves down here too, which you don't really see very often. But they can be down here. That's a mating call. I don't know if he's just passing through. But most of the Besit Ibex are going to be up in the north part of this lake. We're going to have a bunch along here. and We're going to, we're going to have a huge, probably a huge herd at the north tip of this lake as well. They're usually up there. And like I said, we're gonna have some coming in from behind us as well. And uh, we got Mouflon out here too. You're gonna have Mouflon out here drinking. They overlap, their drink times kind of overlap with the Ibex. They'll drink till about nine, 9.30. So the first hour or so that, that Ibex are drinking, you're gonna see Mouflon around too. And you're definitely gonna see them at this lake. And you're gonna see lots. I actually got a diamond Mouflon at this lake recently while hunting Ibex. So you might get a surprise diamond Mouflon. You can also put a tripod here. I highly recommend putting a tripod here. I used to always have a tripod here. And here we go. Here's our first Besit Ibex. Three very easy, 116 to 149. Diamond requirement for these guys is 190. Now, the strategy here for getting a diamond, just like any species, just like any other animal in the game, take down all your males, take down all the biggest males, especially. If you don't get your diamond right away and keep coming back, let them respawn, reset your time, get your respawns going after you've taken down a bunch of the males and keep coming back. And if you check all the hotspots that I'm showing you in the video, you should be able to get your diamonds. That would be so cool if I could get a diamond here <laughs> while doing this guide. That would be fantastic. I would love that. Maybe. Who knows? I think what I'm going to kind of do here is kind of like show you guys one lake from each species. And I'll kind of talk about the other lakes, talk about all the hotspots. And we'll cover everything. And I'm super stoked to hear about your guys' grind for for your Diamond Grand Slam multi-mount. Hopefully this guy will help you. It is a super fun grind. 
And you can do the multi-mount however you want to do it. You could do all albino, you could do all mela. I've heard from a lot of people doing the all mela mount. I am only one away from the all mela mount. I just need the Ronda Ibex. Here we go. We got a three. We got a four. 144 to 176. Now diamond potential, diamond requirement is I believe 190, 190 point something, maybe 191. I don't remember all of the exact requirements. I know them, you know, I don't remember the decimal points to all of them, but for Basit, it's right around 190. That's a big boy. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. No way. We got a diamond Basit Ibex. That's a guaranteed diamond, you guys. That's a big, 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 big diamond Basit out there. Oh my gosh. No way. That's incredible. We got a diamond. That's a 197 to 229. That is a huge Basit Ibex. Okay, how do I want to do this? I want to get him to stop. That's a big four. Hang on, hang on, hang on. All right. I didn't want to wait for him. He gave me a shot. We took it. And my gosh, we got a diamond already. In the beginning of the guide. Very beginning of the guide, and we got a diamond. I honestly can't believe that. I think he's going to be my third diamond besieged. My gosh, and he's huge. He's a 200.1. Got that right lung. Just missed the heart, just a little high. My goodness. Wow, okay, sure. So there you go, there's Basit Ibex, and there's how to get a diamond right there. And that's awesome. Let's move on to the Ronda Ibex up in the top right of the map, guys, let's do this. So for the Ronda Ibex, I got four favorite spots, you guys. This lake is fantastic. This lake is also fantastic. Check this lake and definitely check this lake. You're gonna get Basit and Ronda here as well. We're gonna look at this lake right here, this little lake. This lake is also fantastic. I would say these are probably the two best. Definitely hot spots, but uh, we'll check this lake here. You're going to want a tent here. There's no outpost really anywhere close to this lake. Uh, and you definitely don't want to be hoofing it all the way from this lake every time. So get a tent up here. I like mine up in the north. That's going to help you out a ton when you're hunting for your Ronda Diamond. So now a lot of the time at this lake, you're going to have Mouflon and you might have Ibex up here too. So if you do put your tent in the north like I do, and I like to put my tent here because once you get over this little hill, you can see this entire lake from up in the north here. Um, you don't have to put it in the north. There's a couple other good spots that you could put it. Uh, this A lot of people put their tents over on this side, up on, a, up on the ridge up there. And we got red deer here. You're going to have red deer here. You're going to have roe deer. You're going to have mouflon, and you're going to have ibex as well. And we have got a maiden call from a stag. We've got a six hard red deer stag, a female roe deer. Um, and they like to hang out along this side of the lake. You're going to have mouflon up here usually, right over there. And usually I find the ibex are down at the south side. You're going to have mouflon down there too, actually. So we don't, usually I would have the mouflon zone right about here. You'd have a herd of mouflon here drinking, but since we are at 944 already, they're actually gone. They'll drink here until about 9 or 930. Uh, we do have some roe deer frolicking about over on the left side of the lake. And I would normally have mouflon down there as well. They're not going to be there this time. And then the Basit will kind of hang out anywhere around kind of the north. Or I guess the south side actually of this lake, not the north, the south. We got a 4, 100 to 110. That's actually a diamond potential if I remember correctly. Ronda Ibex believe it's 110 if i remember correctly the diamond requirement 110 or 108 i don't remember we'll put one down so that we can confirm um but ronda do have the second highest diamond requirement so it's 190 for basit i believe it's 110 for ronda uh it's 100 for grados and then uh the southeast i always forget the southeastern spanish i think it's like 87 but we'll confirm those in the guide here as we go along but i do believe that big four who is back in that bush is a diamond potential so just keep in mind there also is no collar for the ibex just to clarify if you guys are wondering there are no collars no lures for the Ibex. There we go. Yeah, he's nice. He's alert. Let's see if we can quickly do this. 
Got him. We'll go take a look at him, and we'll get an exact confirmation on the diamond requirement for them. I believe it's right around 110. So, here's our guy, and he's right in this bush. We're not going to get a very good look at him. But he is a nice-looking Ronda. He is a 101.2. It's 107.9 for diamond, so a little lower than I thought. 107.9, that's your diamond requirement for the Ronda. This guy's a little bit wonky. I really like that. Oh, he is wonky. That's amazing. I love that. I love the wonk. <laughs> Double long on the shot from 130.36 meters. And yeah, that pretty much covers the Ronda. We'll move south to the southeastern Spanish Ibex. So southeastern Spanish Ibex, my favorite spots are these five lakes right here with my two favorite spots probably being these two lakes. I think I've got a diamond at each and I've also got a melanistic at one of these two. I can't remember exactly which one it was usually. And I don't have my Quattro Colina set up, you guys. Usually I would have uh, a tent usually right in between these two lakes. Um, I like to also have a tent at these two. Uh, where else do I like to have tents? I like to have a tent for this lake and uh, that's pretty much it for the Ibex grind. We'll check both of these lakes and we'll just go from this outpost here. Now, the way that I like to approach these lakes, I like to follow the road just a little bit, but I like to try to get to basically the tip, actually like the far end of this tip of the lake, right from about here. And you guys will see why when I get there. So I'll kind of follow the road and then I'll veer off and try to get down to right about here. And from right about this location, you can see the whole lake and you'll see what I mean when, when I get there. I'll show you guys. And basically another reason for that is there's a ton of trees along this side of the lake. If you just follow the road and then you go in this way, uh, a lot of the time you're going to have Ibex along this upper like north side of the lake and you're just going to spook them before you even see them. Um, and I'll kind of show you that after I go over this ridge, you'll be able to see what I mean. But yeah, if you keep going straight along that road and then try to take a left turn, you're just going to be faced with a ton of trees and you're going to have Ibex on the far side of those trees. They're going to spook before you even see them. Now, you can also have Ibex up here, as you can see. So basically, as you're kind of approaching the lake, check up on the hill. There's actually a ton of them. There's Mouflon too. Mouflon are just leaving. There's a nice four. Um, I actually spooked them. So they were probably right, right down this side of this hill. The Mouflon tend to drink right at the tip. So we spooked them, that's fine. But there's the Ibex up there on the hill. A lot of the time you're gonna have them on there. More Mouflon, tons of Mouflon here. And there's more Mouflon up on the hill. Okay, so they're going there to drink. That's almost the Diamond Potential Mouflon. Diamond Mouflon requirement is 179, so he's close. Right there, I do believe that's a Diamond Potential, Southeastern Spanish. And with the Ibex, man, the fours do make Diamond quite a bit. If you've got a big diamond potential level four, definitely take it down. I've had quite a few fours make diamonds. Don't know if he looks quite big enough. Tentative. I'm just, you know what? I'm actually going to shoot him. We might spook some of the Ibex off to my right, but uh, that's a nice one. So we'll take him down. Try to get a look over here on the right side. Let's see if we did indeed spook any Ibex. Yeah, we did. We did. They'll come back in. This will give us a look at what we got anyway. And they'll just turn around and come right back in. The Ibex are pretty good for that too. If you spook them, they'll turn around and come back in pretty, pretty quickly. I don't see anything too big in there. Not yet. But yeah, a lot of the time at this lake, you're gonna have uh, Ibex up here on the hill. You're gonna have them on this side as well. And then also on the far side of the lake, you're very likely to have Ibex over there as well. So here's this guy. Let's see the exact diamond requirement. He's actually quite big for a Southeastern Spanish. I'm not gonna lie. He's pretty big. He's a gold. He's an 85.6. 89.6 is diamond for these guys. So he was close. So 89.6. Diamond requirement, we got double lung on that shot from 162.67 meters with the M130-06. Pretty close to diamond, actually. Let's move on and go check out the Grados with my favorite, by far my favorite spot for Grados. This lake's really good for Grados. You definitely want to check that one. Um, basically, this whole right side of this big lake is fantastic for Grados as well. But this is your hot spot, you guys. And I have found probably six diamond Grados here, I think, if not more. I've given away a couple diamonds here. Uh, I feel like 
ha probably half of the time that I go to that lake, I find uh, a level five. So that's like probably the biggest hotspot for all of the Ibex on this entire map is that little lake. For some reason, for Grados, it is just a banger. So if you check that lake and you grind that lake, you're definitely going to get a diamond Grados. Almost guaranteed. Unless they change something. But we're going to head up there as quick as we can. It's 1048. I'm not going to bother. Actually, you know what? I am going to reset the time. We'll set it to 849. That works. So when we're approaching this lake, you guys, I do like to approach again from the road, from the outpost, and then I veer off. And I'll approach this lake right about here, uh, being very careful not to spook Grados that are usually... And there is a bit of a hill right here. They like to hang out right about here, uh, pretty much anywhere along this side. Sometimes they're really far this way and it, they can be really easy to spook. But basically, you kind of want to come from this corner. In fact, I'm going to go pretty much exactly like 90 degrees to the right here and uh, make sure I'm not making too much noise and try not to spook them. But basically, you're going to have Grados along this left side. You're going to have them at the northern tip. And you're going to have them pretty much anywhere along the left side as well. I usually have them down in the bottom corner. And they kind of spread out and work their way up to about the mid mid part of the lake. So basically, you're going to have a herd here. You're going to have a herd here. And you're going to have a herd right about here. There's one right there. So don't know where he's going. Don't know what they're doing. Oh, there's a decent looking one there. There's a big boy in there. So they're, they're regrouping, they're figuring out what's going on because of the time change. There's an 81 to 94. That's a pretty big one. The diamond requirement here for Grados is 100. I think it's 100.1. I'm not mistaken. It's 100 point something. So that's not quite a diamond potential, but it's close. It's a big one. We'll just kind of watch the other side of the lake here. They're going to be settling in over there as well. There's one. There's a three very easy. 67 to 80. Little guy. That's fine though. Oh, they're hanging out right here. Look at this. So they're just chilling right here. There's that big one. We'll just spook these guys. That's fine. Want to see the other side of the... Wait, is that a... Wait. Is that a Mela? Who was that? That was a dark boy. We had a dark boy in there. That might have been a Mela. It's going to be hard to tell with this lighting. But I am going to drop that potential Mela. Uh, it's going to be so hard to tell which one it was. I think it might be that one right there. They're going to be all along this far side of the lake as well. There's a four that goes up to 90. There's a four that goes up to 92. They're still coming in. I don't want to spook all of them shooting this Mela. These guys are coming back. I'm going to shoot this, this what I think is a Mela. And see if it is indeed. Is it that one? I think it's that one right there. Actually. Yeah, that's the one. Got it. Got that long. I think that was the one. Yep. That's a Mela. <laughs> That's so funny. That is a Mela. Oh my gosh. That's hilarious. So that's a Mela Grados, baby. So we got a Diamond Besiet and a Melanistic Grados Ibex as well today so far. And we've only checked one lake uh, for each of the species and uh, we're finding some cool stuff. So I feel like you guys are going to be able to put together your mounts pretty quick if you follow, if you follow this guide. And uh, that makes me super happy. This is a 44.4 scoring Melanistic Female Grados, we got the right lung on the shot, just clutched it, just barely. And that's super cool. I'm going to taxi that. It's only my second Melanistic Grados. But yeah, that's going to do it for this guide, you guys. I hope that helps you guys in finding all of your diamonds for your Grand Slam multi-mounts or all of the rares, however you guys are wanting to do it. I hope this information helps you guys. If it does, let me know down in the comments. If there's anything I missed, any spots where you guys are finding Ibex that you want me to add to my map, let me know. I would love to hear from you guys. If you liked the video, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button, drop a like on it. I appreciate it so much. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done that, and I will see you guys in the next one.